Hey everyone, um, so we're live today for our interview. Uh, just to let you know before we jump into it, the way the interview will work is I do have a scripted set of questions here that I'll go through with our guest first. And then at the end, I'll invite you to leave some viewer questions. So without any further ado, um, good evening, good afternoon, and good morning, regardless of where you are in the world. My name is Mark Alladwell, and I will be your host today. As you can see, I am not alone. I am joined by the talented Olivia Roberts, comic book artist from Kimberley, British Columbia, right here in Canada. Olivia, could you do me a favor, please? Could you introduce both yourself and your work to our viewers, please? Uh, sure thing, Mark. Um, my name is Olivia Roberts and living in Kimberley, BC. And uh, uh, I've just been, I've been to comics for, since around high school when I first got started into uh, liking anime. Then I started to practice drawing from that and it just went from there. And started to go off to college where I learned how to do comics by Canadian comic artist Ken Stacy. And took off from there. That's fantastic. And one thing that I've noticed is you've been very successful with getting short comic book submissions into anthologies for the likes of Frozen Comics and Panel One, which for anyone who doesn't know, are uh, they're quite substantial names in the Canadian comic book scene. Um, anthologies, again, for anyone who doesn't know, are a really good way for upcoming comic creators to get themselves noticed in the industry. What advice, Olivia, would you give to viewers that maybe want to pursue the route of anthologies? Um, best advice I can give is just keep at it, really. Uh, when you find an anthology, um, I would just uh, go for it. I find that anthologies are a very good way to practice your story and art skills. Yeah. That's fantastic. And is there any yeah. particular advice you'd give to people for the submission process for anthologies, perhaps? Uh, I would I would recommend um, Vision Comics. They're located in the UK and. A good friend of mine, Matt, actually introduced me to the um, anthology and guidelines. And uh, what they would normally do is they would give out a theme. Uh, about normally they would give you about four pages, or if you're collaborating, all uh, depends on that. And from my experience, most anthologies. Um, except grayscale work, but um, those like panel one also accept color. Fantastic. Um, and Olivia, your artwork is fantastic. It's um, incredibly unique as far as comic book goes. Um, I would describe it as taking the elements of anime and combining it with the more exper experimental side of traditional fine art. Um, how do you come up with an art style like this for comic books, and what is it that inspired it? Well, when I first started watching, again, when I first started watching um, anime and really got into it, I just really liked the style. The more I watched, the more different uh, styles I saw, and the style that I found fascinated the most were the anime from the early. 80s and 90s, and um, back then everything was done through um, traditional and cell animation. I just really liked the, um, for lack of a better word, the rawness of how it looked because mostly all things animation done back then were hand painted. Um, same with old style um, Disney, like take a look at movies like Fantasia, Pinocchio, and you realize that all of that, there was no computer, all done by hand, and I was just fascinated with that. And back in, when I went to Camosun College to learn how to do comics, I was taught how to use, how to apply watercolor 
onto Comic Bristol paper, and I mostly just stuck with that because I really liked how it looked. That's fantastic. Um, and if any of the viewers today were looking to get into comics as an art form, uh, what would be the one piece of salient advice you'd offer them to get started? Um, to get started, I would just keep practicing and yep, keep practicing and practicing and um, find find some anthologies or even some small comic submission guidelines to submit to. And I mean, I, w I went to a, a comics program to learn how to do this. So maybe if you can find like a good um, arts um, program and apply that to comics should be good to go. But yeah, the best, really, the best advice I can give is yep, just keep, just keep at it, keep at it, keep practicing, and really just be passionate about it. So there you have it, everyone. Um, practice will make perfect. Um, so touching upon um, your education in going to a comic book course at a college here in Canada, um, it, they're kind of a new thing, aren't they, the, the comic book courses at colleges and universities anywhere in the world, let alone Canada. Um, is it something that you'd recommend to people? Oh yeah, I would definitely uh, recommend it. The one I went to um, at Camosun, I believe when I went, I was with the fifth um, program class. Because I think around then, the program itself was around four or five years old at the time. And being taught by uh, Ken Stacy and his wife, uh, Joan, really did help out with understanding comics and I'm um, just brushing up and polishing my drawing skills and even stuff that I haven't um, learned anywhere else really. That's awesome. Um, and the one you went to was uh, Chemison in British Columbia. I know that Calgary has got one as well and I believe the University of Toronto has recently established one. Um, so before we move on here to the, the viewer questions, um, I will just let people know that a link to Olivia's website is in the description of this live video. You can find out further information on Olivia there, and you can also, uh, on that website, uh, look at examples of Olivia's artwork and find links to her social media channels. And so, um, let's go with questions. I've got one here already uh, from Lindsay Moore. Do you have a favorite comic that you've done so far? Ooh, favorite comic I've done so far. Um, I believe it. I would have to be Essence, which I did do for uh, Hellcast Press, which um, which actually is run by Lindsay Moore, and it was a ten-page comic that I did, which is the longest I have ever done, because um, all the others were relatively really short. I couldn't really expand much on the concepts, but with Essence I had much more pages and more um, story range to work with. And I... and... Um, turns out horror is actually pretty a good um, genre to really experiment with. I know that probably sounds weird because it's horror, but it's actually pretty fun. <laughs> Olivia. Um, Lindsay Moore just commented back and said that it was a great comic. Uh, great comic, sorry. Um, yeah, and thank you, Lindsay, for your question there. That's awesome. Um, so Matt has a question, Matt Smith. Um, how are you staying motivated to be creative during the quarantine and the self-isolation? Uh, how I stay like that is... Really, I have so many ideas that just pop into my head, whether or not through random, or if I'm, say, reading one of my books or watching a movie, and I get a, a spark in my head, 
I really just go for it, play around with it, and just go from there. Awesome. So there you have it, Matt. Um, and I uh, don't think we have any more questions right now. But what I will say is that you can um, find, again, I'll just remind everyone that you can find a link to Olivia's work in the description of this live video. And I will let everyone know that I will have more interviews coming up. Um, so on Monday, I'm interviewing Olivia, uh, Audra Gallian. And then on Wednesday, I'm interviewing um, Arthur Slade, who is a novelist who has been on the New York Times bestseller list and has also won a Governor General's Award for Children's Literature. So please join me for both of those. Oh, I do have another question here. Um, and it's from Nate Bennett. What is your favorite genre when it comes to creating comics? Ooh, favorite genre. Um, well, first of all, um Hi Nate, how's it going? Um, he was a classmate of mine during the comics program. And uh, before I answer the question, um, we uh, we were collaborators on a co collaboration assignment during the program. Um, he was the writer, I was the artist, and <laughs> good times, good times. But his favorite genre. Um, because most of the comics I have done so far have been very horror-driven, which are mainly fun to do, but I'd pick a favorite one. Um, I would have to say action and adventure. I'm really into the really fast-paced adrenaline kind of stories. But I've also, like, uh, with a mix a bit of... Ready? And I think that just stems, stems from watching really a lot of anime and a lot of animated features during my childhood, but I would say action-adventure. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Olivia. Um, that looks like it's all of our questions for today. Um, I've got to say it's been a real pleasure to interview you, and uh, yeah. thank you so much. We'll see you everyone soon. Like, share, subscribe.